How's it going? Uh, Weight Watchers? That might work. Yeah, why not? How's it going, Weight Watchers? It's uh, week three of uh, Leo Pittman's high school career. The five foot five, 321 pound running back. He's going to continue his saga today. We play uh, against the Hopkins Bandits for our first away game of our uh, senior season. And let me see if I remember this. Some of you guys corrected me. Mankato? Oh, I hope I'm right. <laughs> We're going to hope the Vikings of Mankato can uh, improve to 3-0 and here and continue to see some dominant power running. So we finally get to go a uh, little tails never fails uh, on our high school career. It doesn't work out, but we will start with the ball. Uh, What's wrong with our uniforms? <laughs> the texture didn't load properly as we'll take our first carry. Yo, that is kind of sick. Is this like some sort of new Nike uh, style that they got going on? It's an interesting colorway, that's for sure. I don't know. Third and three, we're going into the Wildcat. It's getting pretty loud here in Hopkins. And oh no, we're not going to have the speed to get there, but we do have the power. The stiff arm cheese allows us to extend the run. So I guess uh, it's just going to be a lot of that. Everything to the outside so far in this game. Great at following our blocks. We're moving pretty well. Uh, as we move through these uh, high school weeks, I'm curious to know what you guys think uh, or, or what team you guys think we should play for. Now, I'm kind of thinking either a team that runs the, you know, goes with a lot of power running because that just makes a lot of sense, especially for getting reps. But I also wouldn't mind a team that does have like a solid amount of Wildcat in their playbook. Just so that potentially we could see that. Ooh, we finally lose some yards on that second down. But regardless, as long as we uh, just continue to run well, I don't know if it matters where we go. I have to imagine if we're a good enough running back that our coach will want to play us no matter what school we do decide to play for. And second and six this time. Man, our team gets really good blocking. It's a little bit interesting that we're just running towards the edge, but it's working. And, you know, the other thing, not only have we just been running towards the edge, that was a nasty, nasty spin move, but we've been running to the same side every time. Always going to the right side, always the short side of the field. We just camped out on that uh, right hash mark, but it works for the drive. We didn't pass once that entire way down the field either. So the defense was able to get a stop. Uh, forced the punt, and now we get a go. Potentially 75 more yards. Again, a run towards the outside, and it's not just the outside. It's to the right, so we can get back to that right hash mark. But how about that running? And look at this. Man in motion, but we're still going out towards the side. I tried to go straight up north, and it didn't work. Second and 10 for us. We'll hand this one off. Finally, a run up the middle, you know, designed, and it works pretty well. And just like that, we're already at the end of the first quarter. Those pants are incredible. Uh, and we're up a touchdown. Two of two on our third down so far in this game. We might be using the uh, reaction time just so that I can make sure that we pick up that first down. Uh, we don't use it often. Might as well use it on, on big bigger plays, you know. 16 rushes, zero passes is the play calling so far. Uh, in this game for the team as there's another run it goes for two and uh, We're going to use the reaction time It's second and eight, but they're calling a draw and draw plays are pretty tough. I guess We can't really use the reaction time because we didn't have any built up. So on this third and nine we will finally uh, See some passing coaches call the four verts that sounds familiar to me and we're going to sit back and block and then release. He throws it. He's got a man wide open. And the first pass of the game is a 47-yard touchdown bomb. Steve absolutely throwing a dot on that play. So, man, our high school team, very, very solid. Uh, and we'll just probably continue to run until there's another third and long. Uh, ooh, that man had a weird little speed glitch to catch up to us. All right. Coach just won the game. We're calling a play. It's an outside play, a toss, uh, to, but it's uh, to the left. 
The spin move works. There's a flag. This is coming back. So the one time we go to the left side of the field, uh, there's a penalty, and it's on the other running back. So our backup, Bill Wilson, maybe a little bit angry that we're getting so many carries, commits the penalty. Second and 16, we come out in the Wildcat, following our blockers, and, well, we got it all back. And now we get to go for a toss to the outside. Believe it or not, uh, and we get to lose four yards. That was a terrible decision. Fourth and six. Thank goodness that our uh, defense is really good. They got the stop and 225 before the half. Coach is deciding to run it a bunch, but I got to imagine he needs to pass at some point. I don't know. All three of our timeouts, plenty of time to move down the field. Doesn't quite seem smart to just continue running, but I don't know. He is a high school football coach. Maybe he knows better than I do. Uh, also, maybe not. Third and four, deciding to run the ball again. Uh, oh my gosh, we had nowhere to go. I probably should have kept that to the outside, but that's fine. Hopkins takes a timeout. And we'll go ahead and see. What can they do with this final drive? Nothing. Uh, and we get the ball back. So a minute and 15. And now Coach is deciding that he wants to start passing the ball. So we'll see some four verts. And we're going to make it five verts because I'm going to go down the field. Look at wide open. He doesn't find me, but that's okay. He didn't need to. He found somebody else. He's streaking free. It's a shame I can't get there for the block. But he's down 64 yards at like the one yard line. Steve Merka, two of two through the air for 111 yards and a touchdown. He almost had two touchdowns. That is an impressive game so far. Really just uh, having successful throws as they'll give us the toss on this one and we're going to lose yardage. It's honestly really frustrating that they keep calling toss plays and whatnot when we're a, uh, a power back. It just doesn't seem to make a whole lot of sense. The blocking hasn't been there and again, we're going to lose yards, but there's nothing that we can do on those plays. <laughs> Our coach is the worst. So we get into a third and long and he calls another four verts. That's the only thing that our coach knows how to uh, throw. And he takes a sack that time, Steve does. So we get nothing out of that drive. So through halftime, we had to sell for a field goal there, but defense got a stop, and now we can uh, start moving here. In this game, we're only averaging 3.9 yards per carry. So we're getting a lot of carries, and it's going to turn into a lot of yards, but, I mean, we're just really struggling. I'm going to go ahead and say it comes down to our coach's atrocious play calling. He has been bad all game long. I called for that. I shouldn't have. Hopefully the coach doesn't notice that I stuck my hand up. Maybe I'm too short. And, uh, well, we forced Steve to throw an interception. So Hopkins manages to pick up a field goal with the good field position. And we're going to go to the air immediately afterwards. Uh, I didn't even call for the ball there. Steve went from back-to-back -back incredible throws to back-to-back -back picks. That one's a pick six, and it's a touchdown game now in the third quarter. So this game really not going all that well. What can we get going? They do call a run up the middle finally for us. Hopefully we're not too tired. Try to use a little bit of the reaction time, and there we go. We get a decent run again. If we're going to carry it uh, 30, 40 times a game, we need to be getting a couple hundred yards, I think. And thankfully, we're super strong, so we should get a lot of that stiff arm cheese. We're back into the Wildcat again. Hope that it works out this time. Uh, well, we got three yards, I guess. I just can't wait till we get to college and we have maybe an offensive coordinator who can not call such garbage plays all the times. I don't need to run this many toss plays as a power back. Oh my gosh. Now we get to run the uh, halfback slip screen on third and 10. And we'll be hoping for the best. And no, I called for the pass way too early. I got out there in front of my blocks. That one's on me. And again, our defense just continues to do really well. Uh, they hold them to a field goal attempt. They missed it. So we get to come back out and continue to maybe burn this clock. We always do good on first downs. It's just past that. I think one of the most important skills that we're going to have to uh, up or level up or improve is going to be our, uh, our stamina because we do not have a whole lot of it right now. Oh, I really hope that this uh, clock hits zero before we run it. Coach wants a mid draw on third and four, a play that I really don't like, <sighs> even as a power running man. I can't get through there. That was tough. Uh, into the fourth quarter. It's fourth down. 
We have a lead, but we just have no offensive production now. All right, first and 10 again. We got great field position because our defense is incredible. And we get a great stiff arm cheese. So again, another good first down run, but it's probably going to be followed by back-to-back -to -back toss plays. Or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe coach is learning. Or maybe we're yelling at him enough. Second and three, he's calling a, an ISO up the middle. And look at that. Look at how much space there is, coach. Please call that more for us. Leo's got to eat, you know. Only nine first downs on the day for uh, Mankato High. That's pretty rough. Uh, look at that. Four more. When we call rounds up the middle, it seems to work. Oh, come on. He's calling the toss play again. Oh, my goodness. You got a power running back. Just let us. Please run up the middle. It's going to work a million times better. Almost guarantee you that. Are we burning clock now? Burning a little bit. Uh, no blocking available to us. We got lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage on that play. <laughs> I just don't understand the play calling. Four of ten on third downs. Now here comes the ISO, but it's third and six. And let's hope that we can... Okay. Had to make sure we hit the, the gap well, and then we were able to use the leg strength to continue to move forward uh, as the contact arrived. And with a couple more first downs, I think that this game could be over. Good job following the blockers. Back to you kind of worked. We got him to dive, and then he, like, just barely clipped us, and we fell over. I gotta see what happened here. <laughs> we just got tired and fell down. And the great thing about us being 5'5", 321 is that... Oh, that was an option. Uh, every every touchdown we get is a fat man touchdown. We'll be uh, a shoe-in, I got to imagine, to win the Piesman. I mean, it's, you know, I don't think a running back would be eligible for it, but... Come on, we're one of the biggest guys in college football. Another third and nine. Coach has decided to run this. Uh, no blocking available to us. We're going to lose three yards. What is, what is the decision-making, man? Let's see if they can hit the field goal to extend this to a two-score game with two minutes left to play. The kick gets off, and he missed it. He pushed it left, and a Hopkins went down and scored incredibly quick. I don't think that we're going to have really a chance to block this. Yeah, the angle's so awkward. We get called for the offside, but they'll decline it. So Hopkins High has tied it up. Uh, people are flashing the lights in the building back there, and we are going to return this kick with a minute and 40 left in the game. Blocking was pretty solid. We've got eh, mediocre field position for the team. All righty, let's not see a pick six, Steve. I don't know when the last time you threw a pass was. First and 10, they're bringing a safety up. I'm looking to go on this wheel route. Oh, we're going to burn him. We're going to burn him. Maybe not. Not even close to being wide open like I expected, but we do get a seven-yard reception. And with a minute and 15, now they've called a halfback slip screen. I kind of screwed it up last time. See if I can fix that issue this time. We're going to be a little bit more patient, waiting, waiting, and losing four yards because I don't know why he's throwing the ball there. Unfortunately, the AI has zero clue how to play call for us. Third and seven. I can't wait until we're a big enough part of our college team. Oh my gosh, to get a call plays. How about that run? Somehow managing to pick up the first down. Coach has seen that. He's been inspired. So he's called the four verts because he thinks maybe we still can win this. In regulation, I am open. And he passed it to the guy who was right next to me but was taller. So Michael Weisbecker is able to catch that one instead of me. That is so incredibly rude. So now there are 25 seconds. We'll go to another four verts because it's about the only pass play we know how to throw. I'm going to say I'm open and we are in field goal range taking our first time out with 20 seconds on the board. And there's our terrible play calling coach. And I guess even though our kicker just missed a field goal, uh, coach is deciding that he's going to try to center this ball up. I'm not sure. First and 10. We get the handoff. Might as well use a lot of reaction time. Breaking one tackle, we take the second time out, and we're still not centered up. And I guess coaches maybe thinks that the kicker is better on the right hash because we're running it again, second and five, running out to the right. The blocking is actually really good. There's a first down. We get out of bounds. Maybe a chance for a touchdown. If we don't punch this one in, it's going to be a timeout, hopefully, and then a field goal attempt. But on this first and goal, again, going to be using... 
The reaction time. I see the gap. And we found the gap. Three yard touchdown run. We will score the game winner with nine seconds left. Uh, well, I guess Hopkins could still tie it up, but I got to imagine that we did enough there. So the extra point was good, and now we can see what are they going to get off of this kick return. Our kicker's pretty solid. Got pretty deep. They're fielding it. Clock's running thin. He broke a tackle. Three seconds left. We're going to see a Hail Mary on this one. Will Hopkins be able to send this one far enough downfield? Looks like it's going to be a Hail Mary. Defensive line not getting a whole lot of pressure. Ball in the air. It was intercepted. And yeah, we come down with it. Our second turnover, or our first turnover of the game, ending the game, and coming away with too close of a win. Uh, are we player of the game, or are they going to give it to Steve? Steve did throw two picks. Disappointing play of the game here is that interception. Come on, it's not like my touchdown that gave us the lead. We're just being disrespected all over the place. And hey, is that my dad? That's a big boy. Well, we earned 105 recruiting points. Not a crazy amount. Puts us up to 415. 47 carries and we only got 182 yards. We did have a couple of touchdowns. Uh, the receiving game was negligible. All right. So we've been given a scholarship offer from Charlotte and ULL. Uh, the Raging Cajuns, a much better team. Uh, the American, the Sun Belt. I feel like we should go Charlotte. We've seen a lot of ULL in, in our content recently, I feel like. So we'll go with the 49ers. And ooh, we get another one. Uh, Wisconsin or Iowa State? Wisconsin feels like it makes a whole lot more sense. They're not quite as good in this game. Um, and we are using them with our... Uh, live stream dynasty though so I guess we'll go with Iowa State and we'll back up Brees Hall our freshman year something like that so we'll I guess go and play Plymouth the Bearcats another road game I'm curious to see if uh, we have the same awful pants alrighty back on the coin toss we do win this time we're going to elect to kick the ball off and while our defense managed to get a stop our pants uh, are different, but they're still a little bit messed up. Now we've got the weird, like, uh, knees, whatever you would call it, like bottoms of the pants, uh, kind of where our knee pads would be. So the school must have some very interesting booster that is very uh, influential in the uniform design. There's a good nine-yard carry. I want another game like our first one where we run for 300 yards. Of course, I would prefer if that could happen while we were running it up the middle a little bit more, but if the blocking wants to be really good, I'll take that as well. We get caught halfway through our spin, but it allows us to drive our legs for four yards. And I'm curious, when we go to college, are they going to try to make us bulk up a little bit more, or are they going to put us on a diet? Because I could see both being useful. You know, on one hand, we become heavier and harder to stop, and on the other, we probably get... A little bit stronger maybe a little bit quicker my preference would definitely be getting heavier <laughs> we're gonna cut this one back and fall forward for three yards and instead of just a simple like iso or halfback dive on third and one coach is gonna try to get us to run towards the edge so trying to follow our blockers works pretty well and we're moving the ball well on this first drive but question will be will that hold up for the rest of the game Ooh, fun we get to go to the air this time. I'm open. Uh, and Steve missed us by a mile. Thanks for that one, Steve. <laughs> Coach immediately pulled him out of the game. Steve threw one into the dirt and said, All right, Leo, you go into the Wildcat, get this done. <laughs> and we take a shot behind the line of scrimmage and are lucky to stumble back to it. So in typical Mankato high fashion on third and long, we're going to go with a four verts. That's what Coach has decided. I'm going to use the reaction time to make sure that I'm in the right spot to catch the ball as we've called for the pass. And we got the first and goal. Like, I'm sorry to the receivers on our team. I know they don't get a whole lot of playing time, but if I'm open like that, I'm going to call for the football. And now second and goal from the two-yard line. Again, instead of just running up the middle, we bounce it towards the edge. The blocking was incredible, but there's a flag down. So this one is going to come back for sure. Yep, uh, holding Sam Mirabal, our right tackle. That could be a, a drive-killing play. We're going to try 
the Wildcat. We'll see if it works for us. As the blocking was not the greatest, we still managed to salvage six yards out of the play, though. It's a big third and goal here. This has been a long opening drive as we'll have to bounce that one to the edge and we use the reaction time to our advantage because it allows us to find the end zone and take the lead. That's kind of a bummer. It, what are the... Plymouth? Is that the name again? Uh, well, Plymouth High, or PHS, drove down the field, running the ball like we would, uh, but missed their field goal. Kind of interesting. We are already in the second quarter, by the way. I just noticed. A uh, big third down. Ooh, we got popped. A defensive back just slaughtered us. It's fourth and two. We probably punt this ball away. But thankfully, it doesn't seem like they're very good. Maybe a turnover for us? We have the ball at the 51-yard line. 350 before halftime. And this one, uh, trying to follow the blockers again. I'll take five yards of play. Second and five for us. Again, following the blockers. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. Uh, that's fantastic. Why can't we just run plays like that? Why do we have to go toss plays, coach? Come on. Don't make a, a big boy try to run out towards the edge so much as... Oh my gosh, another penalty from this team. The offensive line gets hit. It's a false start. And on first and 15, we'll go back to the Wildcat. Our playbook is like six plays total. It's kind of embarrassing. Bouncing that one towards the edge. We got back the lost yards from the penalty. But unfortunately, that makes it second and eight. Trying to see what we can do on this play. Eh, not the best running for me. We just get back to the line of scrimmage. And on this third and seven, I'm going to be using the reaction time again. Calling the run, trying to follow the blocks. Uh, yeah, that just wasn't going to work. The, it didn't hold up. I didn't have enough of a gap. And it gives us a fourth and five. And we're going to run the ball. <laughs> 218 left in the half. What can we do? Will the blocking be there? Again, trying to utilize something. We break a tackle. We're short of the line to gain. It's a turnover on downs. In a typical Mankato high fashion. On the first drive near the end of the half, we don't pass it at all. And now that time's getting a little bit less and we only have one timeout, we're going to start throwing four verts. Calling for that one. We catch it. Hold on to it. Probably see a little bit of a hurry up here. And it's going to be another four vert. And I'm probably going to call for this again, if I'm being honest. We'll see. Yeah, I'm open again. Uh, but gosh, I'm so bad with my users sometimes on that. And we just missed the pass. Thankfully, Coach loves this call, so he's called it again, and we'll get a chance at redemption. Second and 10, a minute and 35 left in the half. Don't throw it to me, Steve. But maybe throw it to somebody. I know you had a wide open number 87, but he took the sack instead. Andy Reid got him there. And what is this brain dead play call? Third and 18 with a minute and 15 left in the half. And Coach is calling a draw play. Like, sure, we're going to get some yards, but <laughs> what are you? what's the point? <laughs> So we have to punt the ball away, and we'll see. Can they do anything to end the half? No, we actually got the ball back, and uh, I guess we just passed for 27 yards, 21 seconds, and we're available. Uh, the clock is ticking down, though. I imagine this is going to get passed to the left side. We're just going to try to go on the streak, and no. Oh, my gosh, the discipline. Another false start backs us up five yards. And Coach has found a new play in the playbook, the corner strike. One of my personal favorites. It was a really good route to run in this game. Maybe a little bit cheesy. See if it works for our team as I'm open. Oh, he didn't throw it to me. Yeah, sure, we got 15 yards, but I might have had a touchdown. Oh, well. Well, on this first and 10, nine seconds, I am the preferred route. I'm open. He threw it a mile behind us. Come on, Steve. You're hurting me there. Five seconds left. We're going to run the same play again. And somebody's open. It's me catching it into the end zone with the clock at triple zeros. We get, so what is that? Our first receiving touchdown of our senior season. It's enough to open it up to a two score lead as we go into the locker rooms and we'll get the ball to start the third quarter. So a decent first half for us. We could run a little bit better. Uh, the play calling could be better, but we are winning these games and... That's pretty important. Clock, yeah, was burning down. We get the playoff in time, and we just got back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10, no. Handing it off again, and on the play call, oh my gosh, the move that we just made there was beautiful, and it was enough for 15 yards. What does that put us at? 22 carries for 105. 
on the day so far. Plenty of time to pick up uh, maybe 100 or 200 more. I'm just waiting for the play where the blocking is, like, incredible and we just get to basically walk into the end zone, but it's not going to be that one. Second and eight. What do we got now? A minute gone out of the quarter. Uh, it was a draw. I ran the wrong direction. I think we're lucky to get those two yards. Is every single one of these plays just going to be a run on this drive? Blocking was really good. We forced the safety to choose a direction. We chose the opposite and we got the first down. Four and a half minutes now. That's a decent carry. We bounced off of one of our linemen and managed to find five more yards. And I'm just going to assume that this one isn't going to work. We're going with the option. We are the pitch man. Quarterback does give it to us. It's a little bit late. <laughs> Uh, I think he could have got that exact same yard that we did. I'm going to hope for the best now on this third and four. We could be open. Man in motion. I'm open enough. I'm calling for it. We got a foot in bounce and we got the first down. We're doing it uh, both on the ground and through the air right now. Some fantastic sideline awareness shown there from us. Uh, man comes in motion. Literally number 87 just like came to headbutt us. Uh, we managed to get positive yards, but that could have been a whole lot more. I can't wait till we have more competent players on our team. Hopefully. Well, I guess we got to choose the right college to get more competent players. Because uh, this is just a struggle fest. All right. We're going to load up all 321 pounds for this third and five. We'll use the... Oh, no. We'll use the reaction time. It's not enough. Caught from behind and brought down two yards shy of the line again. So fourth and two... I guess we're going to take the field goal, try to make it a three-score game midway through this third quarter. The kick is up, not blocked, and that time, yeah, that was good. So, unfortunately, uh, PHS managed to score there. Keep forgetting, it's Plymouth, right? Oh, if our wide receiver gets us a block, we had plenty of room, but we lost a yard on that first down. Up to 31 carries on the day now. This play is going to make it 32. It's a lead draw. I'm just going to try to bounce that towards the edge. And wow, we made a lot out of that play. A whole lot. <laughs> oh, no. Third and four. Coach is asking us to get the pass off. We've seen this one before. I'm curious if it's going to work. Just tossing it up. Oh, gosh, we missed our man by a couple of miles on that one. And it's fourth down. Thank goodness we have not played a truly good offense on the other side of the ball. Because I think that we would have lost one of these. Maybe it'll happen if we make the playoffs. But for now, we're happy with the way that these games go. Our defense is probably one of the best in the state. Try for this carry. Great blocking from the line. That time's enough for 10 yards. I feel like we got to be getting close to... Well, we're at 159 yards. I want that 200-yard mark. The biggest problem with setting that as our goal is that we are in the fourth quarter. So, what are we actually going to be able to do? Uh, goodness. Four yards uh, a carry might not be enough. <laughs> we certainly haven't had any really big plays in, uh, in this episode so far, these past two games. That's a nice one, though. Getting a little bit of that power running going for 12 yards. 175 now on the day. Curious to see how this counter out of the Wildcat will go. Uh, honestly, oh, it was really good. I thought we were going to be stumbling, so I flicked the stick down to try to counter the stumble, but we did a back juke. I don't know if we would have had a ton of yards, but it would have been positive. And second and 11. Oh, that's a lot of space. That is a lot of space. The draw worked beautifully. We're getting close to that 200-yard mark. Out of the Wildcat, this will be our 40th carry now of the game. And I got to say, I would be... Uh, decently happy if we could do it on this play. The blocking was fantastic, and... Was it enough? 18 yards? Did we hit 200 there? 204? We did it by four extra. Oh my gosh, that man got pancaked. Number five doing some work. If we could manage to score on this drive, uh, it might be enough to win the game. First and 10. I'm going to use the reaction time just to try and hit the right gap. Bouncing it towards the edge. The blocking is great. Nobody's going to be able to catch us. And we take it 19 more yards to the house. Oh, goodness gracious. We needed that. 24 to 7 now. 317 left in the game. And I'm not entirely sure, but I think that we scored. I think we just ran one. I accidentally skipped a single play. 
And we... The score went up, and I think it said that we scored it. So we might have a lot more than... Yeah, we have 245 yards and three touchdowns now. Well, I'm going to say I'm, I'm sad that I couldn't do it, but our stats are very happy with us. Uh... I don't know if I can complain. Instead of just taking a knee at this point, Coach is continuing to run the ball. And I got to say I'm grateful for it because we just got a huge chunk of yards. A little bit extra with the stiff arm. Jeez, 34 more. We could get to 300 maybe? It seems like their defense is starting to get a little bit tired. And with 30 seconds left, uh, we just continue to run the ball. A little bit bad manners here, but I just took a timeout because I want this touchdown. I think the touchdown and the extra yards would be really good for us. So we're going to try to save the clock. We've got plenty of blockers. Will they do enough? Whoa, somebody got launched. <laughs> it's enough for a first down. And on this first and goal, we got to hope for the touchdown, I think. The blocking has to be good enough. Trying to get north. Not enough. We we're kind of breaking some tackle forward. I got to go hurry up now. Less than 10 seconds on second and goal. Trying to get in, and there was plenty of daylight there. So we do get that fourth rushing touchdown of the game. I don't know how many yards we're at, but that's a solid performance. The extra point was good, and now this kickoff should be enough to end the game, so long as it's not like a touchback. So I guess it could be one more. Two, one, yeah. All right, one second on the clock. We'll, we'll watch the last play here. And it looks like maybe they're going to go and throw it. But no. An option. The quarterback keeps it. He got a decent amount of yards. But it's too late. We held him to 97 on the day. And we end up winning this game 38-7. to How about that for a victory? Worked pretty well for us. Uh, if we're not player of the game this time around, I'm going to be pretty surprised. 50 carries for 309 yards and four touchdowns. We did break that uh, 300 mark. We had a receiving touchdown in there as well. That's got to be worth a whole lot of points. So there it is. Our third star. We got 240 recruiting points. We upped the total that we had by like over 50%. Uh, 71 receiving yards on, on that game as well. Five total touchdowns. That's a very impressive stat line. I'm curious to see what teams are going to offer us some scholarships. Minnesota has reached out for us finally. Uh, so has Iowa and Iowa State. So all three teams, we've made it. Uh, high enough up on the board. I just realized when it showed us uh, ULL and Charlotte, it wasn't us picking. It was just saying that the teams offered us a scholarship. So all three of these Power 5 teams have now done it. And now we can add another school onto that. Wisconsin's really gunning for us, but we're not going to go with them. Uh, Notre Dame or Ohio State is a pretty tough question for me. Two very big programs. But we're going to go with Notre Dame. We'll go have an independent on the board just in case. Maybe we decide we don't want to be in the Big Ten. Um, and I was just curious. How how close are we? Yeah, we're, we're almost there. They're a six-star team, the, the highest team on the on the board. They are a spread offense. Um, but it's looking pretty impressive. We've got a decent amount of scholarship offers at this point. Uh, nothing really from the West Coast, but we'll get there in, in due time. But as it stands, we are 4-0. We will face the Bloomington Warriors at home uh, to start off our next episode. But for now, that's going to do it. So if you enjoyed it, please feel free to like and subscribe if you have not done so already. And while you're subscribing, head on down to the description where you will find a link to my Twitch at twitch.tv slash goonmaster. Uh, as well as links to my Twitter and our community Discord. And of course, the College Football Revamped mod if you're looking to get it, your hands on it. That being said, thank you guys so much for the continued support on these. Uh, uh, once we get into college, I think these uh, episodes are going to get a lot more spicy. So I'm excited for that. But as it stands, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Goonmaster. You guys are the Weight Watchers. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, wherever you are, have a good night or have a good morning, and we'll see you later. Adios.